Good morning, everyone. Welcome to stage number six of the Amgen Tour of California. I am Chad Andrews, and we are rolling with the tour. And I've got uh, two recognizable faces in the industry. Phil Liggett well, and Paul. Television, sure, well, we, I've been seeing you on telly. Oh, good man. Okay, well, you must be the only view we've got. No, there's actually, there's more than three. I can guarantee that. Oh, that's very good. And Paul, do you <coughs> concur that we've got more than, who are we tweeting to? Uh, we're tweeting to the Amgen Tour of Cal. We're showing the view from the top of this outside categorized climb. It's beautiful. It's very down there. To where? To the view. Have a look. You know, the, the biggest ski jump in the world here yeah. in, for the 1932 Olympics. Did you give it a try? Uh, well, I wasn't around in 1932, but Phil thought he would. I was there. The guy called... I feel like I'm playing tennis here. ...set the record of 74 meters at the time. And for us Yanks, that's about 155, 60 feet? Uh, 74 meters? No, oh, two, 250. Oh, there's my math. Times three. Two point it's, you know, people are always complaining because we have to talk in two languages at once. We have to talk in old money, which is Fahrenheit, but the rest of the world talks in centigrade. Yeah. I know, we, we are behind the I times here. We're talking gallons. Our gallons are bigger than your gallons, so we're totally confused again. So is this a Texas thing or a, a European thing? No, no, it's, it's a world thing. Oh, so that a makes thing. a problem for the 10-gallon hat, really, doesn't it? Yeah, so it's, it's literally bigger than a 10-gallon hat. It's like 7.5. 10-gallon hat, it would be half a bigger gain as an American 10-gallon hat. That means you wouldn't see me because it'd be, oh, it'd be down here. Right, so in Europe, you technically can't wear a 10-gallon hat. No, you can't. You'd have to wear a 7.5-gallon hat. 7.5-gallon hat. It doesn't have quite the same ring to it. So why, do you know, why are we do you, here? Way, do you know why they call him Buffalo Bill? Because he likes buffaloes. No, because wouldn't it be stupid if he was called Bison Bill? Yeah, it would be. No, it wouldn't, actually. I like bison. It was okay if he just used his initials. Fine. Yeah, BB. Yeah. And then he could have a BB. Yeah, gun. but that's Buffalo Bill and Bison Bill are still BB. Yeah, exactly. I well, that's what he said. Going very well, mm, yeah, so. Um, I've seen a Stella J today, by the way. You know, I'm a bird watcher. Yes. Just no. outside, Stella J. And uh, did you guys have a conversation, talk about the stage number six? Oh, oh no. Well, we don't do that till we go on television. Uh, oh, well. Paul, do you agree with ah. this assessment? Watch stage six. Where's, where's, where, where does it start, stage six? We, haven't we are in, um, California. You know, in the old we're days, in California. Nowadays, the guys all look at the route early. But, you know, in the days of the early Tour de France, people like Laurent Fignon, they didn't even know where the tour started until the day before. Then they have to ask how they were getting to the start and where is it. They didn't worry about the route. They found out on the day. But now everybody looks at every bend in the road. I've just seen a guy out there filling the cracks and brushing the road. Uh, but well, what? Maybe it's a bison that crossed it and caused all the cracks. Well, at least we know it could have been a bison. It was probably bear there up here or a mountain lion, but it certainly wasn't a hippo. Wasn't How, a do hippo. do we know that for a fact? No, we don't, because the other day outside Hearst Castle, we came out of the out of the hotel. I saw a zebra. Now, did you know there are several different kinds of zebras, and it was actually yeah. a Birchall's zebra, not a Grevy zebra. And again, and in England, there's zebras, but they're the same animal. But is it a zebra or a zebra? Zebra. I don't know, is it a black with white spot of stripes or white, black with white stripes? One animal's got the same pattern of stripes, and that's how the baby recognizes its mum. But that's how I recognize my mum. Well, she's got different stripes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Paul, any final thoughts before we uh, close this up? Oh, yes. well, there's, a, there's a race. Oh, yes. yeah. Actually, in, in, see, I think it's a great race this year. It's really a good race. Okay, so give us why it's a race. Because they're all falling off in the Giro. There'll be nobody left before we get to the end of that race. But this race is really good. Yeah. Okay. And Paul, um, the heat obviously has played a factor oh, a little bit, it. but uh, oof, man, it's been hot. Absolutely brilliant, fantastic, great, super, fantastic job. The heat, we don't care about the heat because we've got the whiskey. Hey, <laughs> laddie, get the whiskey. Aye. That was about as far from yeah, South sort of African or African accent, as possible. By the way, which Aye. is, uh, he doesn't get to use it very often. Are you gonna, are you gonna give us a, a, some brogue or? Uh, no. No. Uh, not really, like you know. I'm from uh, I'm from Liverpool, but I thought you were going to try to top him. No. Oh, look, the wife's on the phone. The wife. Oh, yeah, wait. Yeah, well, this Joe might get interesting. This is coming in from <laughs> Uganda. Oh, and he's oh, just dropped uh, the last he, he accidentally ah, hit the ah, red button instead no, of the green, the green button. Green. Red button. He's I saw it. He's only been trying for, for approximately two and a half hours. Yeah, to reach unbelievable. The and, she gets through, and your man, your man comes in here and stuffs it all up for me. You know, he's waiting to get into contact with Uganda, Africa, and your man comes in there and he's stuffed it all up there because he's pressed the wrong button. Oh my goodness, what are we going to do? Oh my God, That's he's trying to do sub -Asian it. I had to come up with something. I had to come up with something. Well, gentlemen, briefly, can you give us your oh, one, one sentence? That's it. 
Oh, you're going to do a prediction? I don't know. You, I thought, what were you going to do? Well, since we're there, sure. Well, I predict there will be a winner and the Cav won't be the winner. But apart from that, uh, Paul thinks that uh, Bradley Wiggins will show them all just how good he is. I thought he made a mess of the climb of, uh, of Mount Diablo. But I think Acevedo won't be far away today. I actually concur, and we might get the lovely Catherine to give us her two cents here. So, Paul, before she gets... Hello, Catherine. On? Don't speak, you're on television. Don't speak, you're on television. Um, hey, Catherine. I, I think Brad Wiggins will come out and uh, give him a show for today. Put your video on, she can't see I've it. got eight things going on here. I feel like I'm juggling tennis balls. Okay, so... This is our rest period. What was your pick? Well, I thought you paying attention. Bradley Wiggins. No, I wasn't paying attention. Big demonstration by Bradley Wiggins today. He puts his foot down. Okay. Puts the hammer down. Foot hammer. It's all the same. The only serious thing we've got out of this conversation is that it is a good race. And that zebras have stripes. And that zebras have stripes. Zebras have stripes. Ah, we got him. <laughs> Feel like it, Paul Sherwin, Chad Andrews. That's, this is riveting television. It is. Rolling with the tour here at Amgen Tour of California. Visit California, tour tracker. Dot com. Wild Bill, Bill Hickok, bison, dot net, dot com. Dot org.